Hey folks, it's meteorologist Braden Murdoch from the National Weather Service Bay Area. We're looking at an interesting setup as we continue into the weekend. We're going to see wind, dryness, and some more wind, and then even more dryness. But luckily, it's not lining up too well to see them both at the same time. And we'll get to why that's important here in a second. But as we look into our Sunday, especially Sunday morning, we start seeing some of the stronger winds trying to build up along the coast and then starting to see some go through the Sacramento Valley. Now, during that time, we'll actually see some of the stronger winds around St. Helena, some of those North Bay higher elevations, as well as in the East Bay Hills, but it's going to be hard for that to filter into some more of the valleys. It will be breezy for your Sunday, as well as maybe in portions of your Saturday, but it continues to get stronger going further into that night, and then finally, we kind of break off, and then Monday, we actually get pretty well into the dry sector behind this, so cold front's coming through, it's going to give us plenty of wind, and then we see dry conditions on the days, but overnight's where we start to see those winds, so it doesn't line up too well. And with this, we are going to see some relative humidities take quite a hit. This is our lowest relative humidities for October 23rd. Some areas in the East Bay interior, like Concord, getting down to 17%. So yes, we're not looking at strong winds on top of that, which would lead us to more considering red flag conditions or even elevated fire concerns. But we still want you guys to play it safe because these are still going to be very dry conditions. And some days these are going to be followed by strong winds going overnight. So if a fire starts when we're seeing some of these dry conditions, well, later Later on into that night, that fire could spread very quickly. Now, as we continue into the next work week, we see, even see drier conditions in certain spots going into the 24th. So two dry days with some windy nights in between. We want you guys to stay fire weather aware. And of course, if you're going to be out and about towards the beaches, that's going to be some of the windiest areas as well. And if you want to be on the boat this weekend, we got small crafts in the bays and we have gale warnings going into effect here in the next few nights as well. So it's going to be some rough seas out there as well. So plenty of wind for the end of October, as well as some dry conditions in between. We're just telling you guys, be smart with fire conditions because even though we're not seeing red flag cr criteria, we can still see some very, very, very dangerous fire conditions as we continue through the weekend. But that's all we wanted to tell you for this one. Be nice to each other. Be safe out there.